good morning to one and all present here today we are going to see the informations on uses of spices in indian cookery in this particular lesson indian cuisine is characterized by the extensive use of numerous spices spices or masala as it is called in hindi may be called the heartbeat of an indian kitchen by extensive use of spices i do not mean that spices are used to make the food very hot the spices are used to flavor the food making each dish distinct wonderfully aromatic each spice by itself imparts a very unique flavor but when used together with other spices the combination and permutation of different ones magically change the individual characteristics spices are also used for health benefits and medicinal purposes to prevent diseases and also to preserve food here i am going to discuss about only the few basic spices required to start an indian spice cabinet there are many more and some of them might be used only sparingly i will add them slowly as and when required i must mention here that the spices are also region specific some spices which may be very popular in the northern regions of india might not be used as much in the southern region and vice versa most of the spices are available in indian stores can be included spices have been used for thousands of years worldwide first introduced to western cuisine by the romans during the spice trade to the east spices went in and out of fashion of cooking until revived in the middle ages as we are changing the course of history through trade and the conquest spices have been spicing up our food keeping us healthy and enthralling as ever ever since spices are not only a great flavoring on their own but can also act as a preservative and flavor enhancer for particular ingredient many meals as we know them would be totally different without the use of spices such as nutmeg on custard saffron in pela to be a good cook it is important to explore spices and know when to use them to our advantage the masala dabba container of spices that every indian kitchen owns now let the journey begin as a fortida otherwise known as hing this is sap from stem and root of a plant dried into a hard resin the smell of this spice in the raw uncooked form is strong and pungent so unpleasant that it is often called as the devil's dung or the stinging gum however this initial funky pungent smell mellows and almost disappears replaced by a smooth pleasant flavor when it is added to hot oil or ghee the flavor is not the spicy fiery kind but more like leek or onion hing is definitely a gem in the kitchen it is raw form the strong aroma will contain the spices so it is better stored in an air tight containers the resin form is hard and deep 
amber in color it has to be powdered before it is used for cooking or medicinal purposes usually hing from india is the hard resin form as you see in the picture as it retains the aroma longer than ground powder and use a mortar and pestle to grind it in indian grocery store the hing is usually found in powdered form a little goes a long way when it comes to these spices so only a tiny bit when seasoning and tempering of flavor food next we will see taj patai otherwise known as cinnamon tamala often mistaken as the bay leaves leaves of the laurel tree used in western cooking these are actually three veined leaves of the tree belonging to cinnamon group of trees cinnamon tamala are the tamal patra tree in indian homes tej patta are tamal patra as it is called in sanskrit are used to flavor different curries and rice the leaves are aromatic with a slight hint of the fragrance of cinnamon the leaves are first browned in oil first to increase the aroma karam seeds otherwise known as ajwain traki spermum coptica these are pungent tiny seeds grayish in color and often mistaken to be the bishop's weed ajwain has very strong flavors and the smell and the taste bears close similarity to thyme they have a sharp and slight bitter taste on the tongue in indian cooking the ajwain is rarely used raw they are usually dry roasted lightly or tempered in hot oil or ghee and used for seasoning a dish other than using the seeds for curries the flavors of this spice works really well with breads and are very popularly used in paratha in the northern region of the country besides culinary uses it is used for medicinal purpose to aid in digestion and also as an antiseptic cinnamon very famous spice otherwise known as darjini cinnamomum zilantium the cinnamon sticks are quills are the dried bark of a tree there are two popular varieties of cinnamon from china and from ceylon they both have similar flavor but the cinnamon from ceylon has a sweeter aroma and is found more as sticks than a roller up quill the ceylonese cinnamon is also not so easily available in local markets cinnamon as mostly the ceylonese variety it is stick or quail for as well as powder is used extensively in indian cooking mostly for savory dishes often times a few bits of broken sticks are added as the oil heats up this way the oil is flavored and the food is cooked in this fragrant oil sometimes it is dry roasted in a skillet before cooking which intensifies the aroma the warm sweet flavors make it a popular spice for desserts in the western world especially during the holidays it is one of the ingredients of garam masala cloves otherwise known as laung lavang or crambu cloves are dried up flower buds 
the fully grown unopened buds are picked green and dried in the sun till they become dark brown and are ready to be used for culinary and medicinal purposes clove is extensively used in indian cooking the flavor is imparts to foods is strong and warm clove is mostly used to flavor spicy food where the whole clove is cooked in oil or ghee clove is also a part of garam masala in the ground form uses of clove in desserts is not very common in india to, though not unheard of coriander seeds very common spices otherwise known as dania these seeds are the dry seeds of the regularly used fresh cilantro or coriander light brown or golden in color the seeds are kind of hollow and crunchy and has a nice earthy nutty flavor the seeds are used whole for tempering but more often they are ground into powder to flavor food they lose the flavor fairly quick when stored so you will end up with a sawdust kind of powder with no flavor in it the best way go about it is to grind the seeds when you use them or store them in an airtight container only for a few days most of the time coffee grinder or the spice grinder is used to powder the seeds the seeds are powdered either by roasting them first in a dry skillet or without roasting them the roasted seeds powdered have a darker shade and a different flavor than the other both are used in indian cuisine the seeds are usually used in the ground form to be a part of various spice mixes like garam masala sambar powder etc the coriander powder coriander seeds are ground to make coriander powder the powder is used in indian cooking for flavor avoid store bought packed coriander powder they sit on the shelves too long and lose all its freshness grind up coriander seeds at home in a spice or coffee grinder and store in airtight containers for a couple of months cumin seed another important spices otherwise known as jeera cumin or jeera is a very commonly used spice all over india known for its warm earthy aroma it is used in the raw form or cooked in hot oil or ghee to release its aroma sometimes the raw seeds are ground and sometimes the seeds are briefly roasted in a skillet and ground into powder the roasted and fried cumin seed imparts a very unique smoky flavor to food fenugreek seeds otherwise known as methi angular buff colored seeds having a slight bitter taste one of the mixtures of panch forum the unripe raw seeds are cooked as side dishes in certain parts of india and they are not bitter fennel seeds otherwise known as sant or morai these might look like cumin seeds but when looked closely they are actually greener and wider fennel is another ingredient of the panch foran these are also dry roasted and used with tiny sugar candies to make mouth freshener after meals fennel is known for its digestive qualities green cardamom otherwise known as choti elachi cardamom pods holds tiny little black seeds inside the seeds are taken out and used whole in cooking or in the form of powder it is used in a lot of indian cooking whether it is vegetables meat rice or even desserts cardamom is also an important part of garam masala cardamom black 
that is otherwise known as buddy elachi or kali elachi black cardamom also known as hill cardamom bengal cardamom greater cardamom indian cardamom nepal cardamom winged cardamom or brown cardamom comes from either of two spices in the family that is known as jinkli barasi otherwise known as ginger the seed pods are also 2.5 to 3 cm in length and have a bold flavor the pods are dried over open fire and the process leaves the pods with a smoky aroma these are bigger and very different form of small green cardamoms and are not as delicately flavored as their green counterpart this is probably the reason why these are barely used for flavoring desserts the intensity of the flavor emerges as they are cooked slowly and for a prolonged period and that is why it is used a lot of bracing food or flavoring the indian masala the spice mix for curries meats or for stews lentils and pilafs if you have not tried this before just try dropping a split pod when you cook your rice and see how it changes the flavor of the rice the next spice is mustard seed daily you use this mustard seed sarsan or sarsi or rai is the other names of mustard while there are close to 40 kinds of mustard three principal types used as spices black mustard otherwise known as barisica nigra white mustard which is actually yellow brassica alba and brown mustard dark yellow brassica junji the indian cooking all three are used though use of black mustard seeds with a strongly stronger flavor is more common the black mustard seeds have the most pungent taste followed by the yellow mustard seeds the white mustard is usually the mildest the seeds are usually used to temper or season food by adding them to hot oil the seeds are also ground to make a paste usually in the eastern and northern region of india and used in cooking fish and vegetables mustard paste is used to make many indian pickles in the northern region of the country the oil pressed out from the seeds and commonly sold as mustard oil is used for massage as well as cooking in the northern and eastern region of india nigella otherwise known as kaloni or kajojira these are tiny black seeds mostly forming a part of panch foran najila is also referred to as onion seeds they are mostly used in breads like naan tandoori rotis parathas and also sometimes to season stir fried and curries in the eastern india this is extensively used to season fish the another important costly uh, spice is nutmeg otherwise known as jaipal these are seeds of a fruit the part that is actually used in the inner part of the seeds it is used in ground form mostly in biryanis unlike in western countries it is almost never used in desserts in indian cooking the next is panch foran five spice mix this is a five spice mix panch means five the following spices are used in equal amounts cumin seeds mustard seeds nagella seeds fenugreek seeds and fennel seeds this particular spice mix 
is extensively used in eastern indian cooking and also a pickling spice in most states in india another important spice very very important in all the kitchen that is known as red chillies and chili powder this is the hot pepper dried up the cayenne pepper type they have different flavor then the green hot peppers are usually sized in oil and cooked up with the vegetables or meat these dried peppers may be ground up to make red chili powder this is ground up dried red chili peppers these are different varieties of red chili powder available in the indian groceries they are made from different kinds of peppers with the different colors aroma and also the spice and depending upon the heat level the kashmiri chili red and chili powder is a mild chili powder but with very vibrant colors and this is what i usually use in my kitchen another one which i like to use is the rashma patti red chili powder this one has a beautiful color too if you cannot get your hands on the indian variety feel free or even crushed red powder the color and the flavor will differ a bit but they really can be substituted however do keep in mind that the chili or chili powder is not the spice mix to make the mexican chili saffron otherwise known as kesar the king of spices this is probably the most expensive spice looking like tiny orange threads these are actually the stigmas of the flower called crocus saffron adds beautiful flavor and color to rice dishes gravies and desserts turmeric powder otherwise known as haldi turmeric is actually a ginger like rhizome in the raw state inside is deep orange yellow in color the rhizome can be grated in the fresh form and may be used in cooking raw turmeric is often times ground into a paste and used to, to improve skin and complexion it also has very strong medicinal properties however for everyday cooking the rhizome is dried and ground for the purpose of cooking it gives the food a beautiful yellowish color turmeric is also known for its antiseptic qualities grocery stores usually sell the dried powder form of turmeric quite often spices are grouped together and usually a mother spice serves as the main flavor vehicle such as fennel paprika or coriander otherwise known as cilantro etc the main spice is then tempered or modified with an addition of other spices to give it a more desirable ton of flavor and to build up a specific spice mix there are a lot of spice blend recipes online and in the books so it is highly recommended to make them from scratch more often than from a powdered mix so you can create your own spice blends and become more familiar with them there are many hundreds of spices blends worldwide but some good common examples are your curry powder is a typical compound spice as it has several typical spices such as cumin coriander turmeric etc but it varies a lot in type some curry blends are common and some are regional or specialized such as including or omitting spices such as ginger asafoetida nutmeg mustard 
can cure roots etc now we will i will explain the indian spices along with their benefits asafoetida is otherwise known as king the benefit of asafoetida is it's a good remedy for whooping cough and stomach ache caused due to gas the next is bay leaf bay leaf oil possesses anti fungal and anti bacterial activity the cardamom otherwise known as elachi helps to control bad breath and digestive disorders a whole cardamom chewed is good for coping with diabetes chili the antioxidant present in chili helps to cope with cholesterol it also helps burning calories cinnamon it supports natural production of insulin and reduces blood cholesterol clove clove oil is beneficial for coping with toothache and sore gum it is also beneficial remedy for chest pains fever digestive problem cough and cold coriander it can be used externally on aching joints and rheumatism it is also good for coping with sore throat allergies digestion problem hay fever etc cumin it is a good source of iron and keeps immune system healthy water boiled with cumin seed is good for coping with dysentery curry leaves these leaves are beneficial for reducing blood sugar each part of the plant provides some benefits or the other the dried leaves are extensively used in herbal medicine fenugreek fenugreek seed tea or sweet fudge is good for increasing breast milk it also helpful for treating diabetes and lowering cholesterol garlic it is useful for coping with cough and cold it also has antibiotic properties ginger otherwise known as adrak helps to avoid digestive problems it is beneficial for coping with cough and cold mustard mustard oil is good for body massage and even for getting good hair it consists of omega 3 fatty acids it is an excellent source of iron zinc magnesium calcium protein etc nutmeg it is beneficial for the treatment of asthma heart disorders and bad breath pepper it helps coping with cold cough infection etc it helps to deal with muscle pain and digestive problem saffron it helps to cope with skin diseases it's a good remedy for cough cold and asthma to conclude this lesson i will just tell you few points spices should be used in small quality quantities for the maximum therapeutic benefits most spices are potent so a little goes a long way you want to enhance the flavor of food not overpower the dish when blending several spices in a dish experiment to find combinations with other spices and different foods that appeal to you you find your own favorite ways to use them be adventurous look for organic non irritating spices these can be found at any indian grocery store or online spices can be stay fresh up to a year store spices in airtight containers away from heat and light